did I curl my hair for just this video? I'll never tell, but I will say all I've done today is work from home and all I'm doing tonight is hanging out at home with my husband and my cat. So I'll let you be the judge of that. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I figured we would do a get ready with me with every single solitary item that is under $10. So everything on my face right here that made this look for you guys is under $10. I have some really great products that I really genuinely love and highly recommend to you guys. Whether you're balling on a budget or not, these are really great products that I just love. I really, really enjoyed how my makeup turned out today. Before we get started, I just wanted to let you know that I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday for you guys. I work a full-time job. I am a teacher, if you do not know, and I am working really, really hard to also get my YouTube channel going. So I appreciate all the support that you guys have shown me over the last two months or so. You guys are really, really awesome. Thank you so much for the comments, for liking my videos. Please like this one and keep liking them in the future because it helps with the YouTube algorithm and the more thumbs up I get, the more people will see my videos. But without further ado, if you are interested in seeing how I got this look and all the goodies that I use to make it that are $10 and under, then let's go ahead and get started. As per usual, we're going to start off with our eyes today. I'm just going to actually take the bronzer that I'm going to use later in the video in my crease just because uh, I need a little something something in there if you can hear a lot of background noise that is because I have one of those windows open like under the blinds back there because it is literally a million degrees in this room I keep those blinds open for Mike's plant that he keeps in here and we don't have our AC on right now because outside it's like 67 degrees and it is perfect and just beautiful so we have like a bunch of the windows open all around the house but because the windows are open in this room like the blinds are usually open it's just like so hot it's the front of the house that gets the sun all day and it is like 67 and perfect outside but like a hundred in here I think feels like it is so hot I'm like sweating but that's okay right so anyways if you hear extra background noise it's because that window's open I'm going to take the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow, and this is in the shade Golden Emerald. It's just like this really beautiful green shade. These you can still get on Amazon, I believe. I know that they are not as easily accessible, but they are, hold on, I gotta find my notes, $6.49. That's obviously under $10 hairs. And we're also gonna take the NYX Glitter Primer. This is usually like five bucks or something like that, or $6, but you can find it on sale a lot of the time at Ulta down to like $4 or $3 or something like that. So also under $10 hairs. So we're just gonna put that all over our lid and then we're gonna put this beautiful shade. Oh my goodness, that is stunning. And we're just going to tap that also all over our lid. This is giving me all the Christmas vibes, which like I'm not here for. I'm not ready for Christmas yet, but it's still really, really beautiful. So I'm still here for it, you know? Uh, we're gonna blend that out, don't you worry. I'm not gonna leave it this sharp and intense. Uh, their eyeball. So how's it going? How are you guys doing? Let me know down in the comments uh, what's going on in your life because mine is pretty good right now. We're still uh, teaching from home and uh, it's pretty interesting, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of the times my kids just don't show up for my Zoom meetings, so that's really fun, but <laughs> and they're like not getting their work done and stuff. So let me know how it is for you. Are you still working from home? Are you back at work? I know a lot of things have opened back up here recently. So let me know, like, are you still working from home? Are you, that's not blending, cool, shoot. I would love to hear what's going on with you guys. We're in such a weird time. I know that this is just, it's like what, we're like in our sixth month of quarantine, but really it's like not quarantine because everything's opened back up. For the most part, I don't know. It is just very odd. This is not blending it like I thought it would. Okay, let's try this brush. Okay, that's a little bit better, I think. Not that this eyeshadow needs any more sparkle to it, but I do want to lighten it up a little bit. So I'm going to take the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow, and this is in the shade OK. I don't think that this one is necessarily available anymore, but any Super Shock Shadow will work. And these are $6. So I'm just going to take it and just tap it on there. I don't think it's going to do a whole lot, but it's lightening it up just a tiny bit. Oh, yeah. 
Got like a green disco ball going on in my eyes right now. I let my cat in because he was literally just meowing at the door for the last five minutes. So I might regret that. I probably will, but we're gonna go in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer next. This is eight dull hairs. So this is a really good primer from the drugstore that is under $10. And then next up for foundation, I have the Believe Beauty Skin Finish Foundation. I have the shade Linen. This is $5 from Dollar General, I believe. Allie Glines is the one that kind of like put this on my radar and then a couple of my other friends on my Instagram page tried it out and really, really enjoyed it. And I like it too. For $5, it's a really good foundation. If you blind tested me and said, guess how much this is, I would not guess $5. Like look at that coverage. I just had all that redness on my cheek and it just covered it right up. I will say they don't have the best uh, shade range, but if you have a Dollar General near you and you can find this in your shade, I don't recommend picking it up, not gonna lie. So here is the foundation all blended out onto my skin. I have about two layers on. I haven't reached for this foundation in a while and holy moly am I so impressed with it right now. It is looking so good on my skin. It covered up all my redness, all the acne areas that I'm having issues with right now. Look at that like pretty sheen and glow it gave me. And that's all the foundation because the Poreless Putty Primer doesn't really give much sheen or glow to your skin. It is so just beautiful. It's not dry at all. I am like so impressed with this. I need to definitely reach for it more often. Look, you just jumped up on my lap. Hi, baby. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Can you not be on my lap right now? I got work to do. For concealer, I picked my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define, but this is the infinite coverage version. I have tried their normal version that is supposedly a dupe for Shape Tape, which I do not think that at all. I went through two tubes of it, I believe, and it did not have enough coverage for me, but this one does. I have the shade C1. It's like one of the lightest shades they have, and this retails for exactly $10. Obviously, there's the e.l.f. Poreless Putty. Obviously, there's the e.l.f. Camo Concealer as well, which is like $6, but I wanted to feature something else on my channel for once because I feel like I've talked about that concealer a million times already. But this is really good for $10. It can be drying on my under eyes sometimes, I have to be careful, but it blends out nicely and it's a pretty good concealer for $10. He was being quiet and I thought he was being good and just like chilling and falling asleep, but then I turned around and there he is on my table. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. I'm just gonna let him do his thing. As long as he's not eating that plant, I'm fine. But yeah, again, this concealer is a, a really good one. I highly recommend you checking it out if you have not yet. Maybe don't eat the plant. I gotta go get him. Next up for powder, we have the Maybelline Fit Me. You guys know I love this powder with my whole entire heart and it is $8, $7.99. Such a good deal. Sets your face beautifully. It's not drying. Honestly, with this concealer and this foundation, I don't feel like I really need to set my face very much. I mean, I definitely need to set my under eyes because I crease so badly, but I'm just going to set like a really light amount on my face just so the powder, bronzer, blush, and highlight I use doesn't skip, but I'm gonna use like a really small amount and just like barely pounce it over my face because I do want it to be set, but I don't need it to be like insanely set. Then for bronzer, we have the ColourPop Coconut Beach Bronzer. When I am filming this video, it is still available. It retails for $8 and it was actually on sale on ColourPop's website for six when I checked. So I'm hoping by the time I edit it and get it posted, because usually there's like a couple week difference between when I film my videos and when I edit and post them, that it's still available. But the Maybelline City Bronzer is $9.99 and it is my favorite bronzer ever, but again, I wanted to use something different because I've talked about the Maybelline City Bronzer a million times on my channel before. So if this one, for some reason, isn't still available, I will link the Maybelline City Bronzer for you and I 1 million percent recommend that bronzer. It is my favorite ever. It's so good, but this one's good too. I really do like it. It's a nice, like, warm shade on my skin. I really don't reach for it as you can see very much. I definitely should reach for it more, but it is a very, very beautiful bronzer. I went ahead and ran this along my lower lash line to finish up the eyes and I totally forgot that I picked a cream blush. So we're gonna see if these flower blush bombs work well over a powder because I just powdered my whole face and completely forgot 
that I paid to cream blush. So today we're using the flower blush balm and this is in the shade cinnamon. I love this. It is such a beautiful pumpkin-y like it's a really loud plane outside. Okay anyways it is just a really beautiful I don't even know how to explain it like tawny browny orangey just beautiful shade. These retail for $9.99 as well. Hopefully it works well over powder. We're going to find out. Oh yeah, I think it is. I think it's working fine over powder. I mean, it's getting, I feel like, oh, maybe not. Maybe it's getting a tiny bit patchy. It looks way patchier on camera than it does in person. Maybe don't put these over powder, but you'll go for that. It's not the worst. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't think these are the best over powder. That was my fault. But it's still a really beautiful shade. And I still really do recommend these blush bombs to you guys. They are really, really good. You guys, it's so hot in here. My armpits are so sweaty. Oh God. Okay, sorry. Up next for brows, we have the Makeup Revolution Brow Gel. It's their high brow gel. This retails for $7, which is a pretty good deal. I love how little and baby the spoolie is. That's really nice to get in your brows. I tend to not use just this kind of brow gel. Really the only brow gel that I use on its own is the Ilia brow gel, but we're just gonna roll with it today. The Maybelline Ultra Slim pencil, I believe is $10 as well. So if you wanted a pencil, but there's like a million drugstore pencils that you can get if that's what you prefer instead. I like both, but there's lots of options for brows out there for under $10. This is just what I have and what I decided to use for today. That brow got a little cray cray. We're gonna try to fix that. We're gonna, I'm gonna go fix that. I don't think I recommend that brow gel to you guys to use it on its own because my brows look a little crazy right now. I don't know what happened. It's like too much product got placed in them and I couldn't spread it out. And they're just, I don't really like how my brows look right now, but we're gonna move on. So if you use that brow gel, I would just use it in conjunction with some sort of pencil and wipe off the spoolie a lot because it seems like a lot of product gets placed in your brows at once. Up next for highlight, we have the ColourPop Super Shock Highlight and this is in the shade Flexitarian. This is literally so reflective and so blinding. I have to be really, really careful with it. I'm, I haven't used this in a while and I'm a little nervous to use this because it can get real intense real quick like oh gosh but this retails for eight dollars they have a shade called lunch money that looks a little less icy flexitarian is really icy that i think i might want to pick up but i don't really reach for this one as much as i thought i would when i bought it i think because i just would rather reach for like a powder highlight that i can put on really fast and simple and easy but this is blinding and it is beautiful so I don't know if I'll ever pick up lunch money just because I don't know how often I would actually use it, but look at that. Ooh, yeah. So maybe I'll just save my eight dollars and buy it on other makeup because let's be real, that's probably what would happen. <laughs> We're gonna use it as our inner corner highlight as well. Just put it on with our so many planes today. Okay, we're gonna put it on with our pinky finger. This is honestly though, probably one of my favorite shades to use in my inner corner because I am so fair. I have to be really careful about what I use and this works really, really well for me because it is so icy. It is definitely an inner corner highlight on me for sure. I went ahead and did my mascara off camera and I used the Essence Volume Stylist Curl and Hold Mascara. This retails for $4.99, so it is a really good deal. However, it is not my favorite mascara. I just feel like it makes my lashes look a little clumpy, but it's not the worst mascara I've ever tried. And for five bucks, you, you know, you, you can't hang on it too much. Then for lipstick, I have the Flower Beauty Petal Pot Lip. I did look at my notes for the name. Um, and this is in the shade Peachy Nude. These are $7.99, so it's a pretty good deal for a drugstore lipstick. Again, there's so many options at the drugstore for lipsticks and lip glosses that are really good formulas and really amazing for super affordable. 
and that is definitely one of them this is a really really pretty shade it's a little more orange than i was expecting but it is called peachy nude so i don't know why i wasn't expecting it to be orange and peachy but yeah this is their cream formula and i think it's really pretty then last up for setting spray we have the catrice illuminating prime and fine dewy glow setting spray this retails for eight dollars this is seriously such a good setting spray if you want dewy skin but not oily this is it for you it is so so good it definitely will make your skin shiny i don't want to say shiny because that sounds bad it'll definitely make your skin dewy but beautiful i absolutely love this setting spray and i highly recommend it to you guys the mister is a little aggressive but it is still fine if that makes any sense and just look at the glow like I know that that's my highlight, but all of this is just all from that setting spray. I can't sing its praises high enough. And that was it, you guys. That was my get ready with me with a full face of everything that's under $10. You do not have to spend a ton of money to get beautiful makeup products and a beautiful makeup look. I will have all of these linked down below for you in case you are interested in trying any of them. I hope that this was fun for you. I hope you discovered a few new goodies. Let me know what your favorite product is down below in the comments under $10. I would love to discover more amazing goodies that are affordable and won't break the bank. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're awesome and I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.